Machine Learning Mastery page is my first stop to learn how they define anomaly detection. Anomaly detection is to find data points that deviate from the norm. In other words, those are the points that do not follow expected patterns. Outliers and exceptions are terms used to describe unusual data. Anomaly detection is important in a variety of fields because it gives valuable and actionable insights. An abnormality in magnetic resonance imaging MRI scan, for instance, might indicate tumorous region in the brain, while an anomalous readout from a manufacturing plant sensor could indicate a broken component. An outlier is simply a data point that deviates considerably from the rest of the data points in a particular data set. Similarly, anomaly detection is the process that helps us to identify the data outliers or points that deviate considerably from the bulk of other data points. When it comes to a large data set, there may include complex patterns that cannot be detected by simply looking at the data. Therefore, in order to implement a critical machine learning application, the study of anomaly detection is of great significance. Types of anomalies. In a data science domain, we have three different ways to classify anomalies. Understanding them correctly might have a big impact on how you handle anomalies. Point or global anomalies. Corresponding to the data points that differ significantly from the rest of the data points. Global anomalies are known to be most common form of anomalies. Usually, the global anomalies are found very far away from the mean or median of any data distribution. Contextual or conditional anomalies. These anomalies have value that differ dramatically from those of the other data points in the same context. Anomalies in one data set might not be anomalies in another. Collective anomalies. The outlier object is that tightly clustered because they have the same outlier character are referred to as a collective outliers. For example, your server is not under a cyber attack on a daily basis, therefore it would be considered as an outlier. Let's go to Scikit-Learn website. Many applications require being able to decide whether a new observation belongs to the same distribution as existing observations. It's an in liar or should be considered as different it is an outlier next videos we will learn what is a mean and what is a median if you enjoyed watching please subscribe comment and share